Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys if you have a Hyundai Sonata and you guys have uh, problems with the variable timing solenoids, also known as oil control valve solenoids. Stay with us guys. We'll explain where the fuse for those things are located. If you had a bad solenoid, it's very likely that you maybe even have a bad fuse, so always check that one guys. It should work on Hyundai Sonata generation year 2009 to year 2015. If you guys need to buy any parts, tools, cheap fuses guys, we're going to share the link in the description of the video below where you can get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. That's where we get all our parts from. Another thing guys, every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now what's the plan guys? To make at least 200 guys free electrical and diagnostic videos that will be shared on this channel you're watching right now electrical car repair life and we will have more than 300 guys mechanical videos taking the whole engine apart the whole car apart and we will show you how to fix pretty much anything all that will be posted on our main youtube channel okay it's called how to repair guys right here guys we have helped more than 100 million people so let's go ahead and start on it now Specifically guys, 2013 Hyundai Sonata, so let us show you where the oil control valve solenoids are located, you have one on the intake side, you have one on the exhaust side towards the back, but where are the fuses guys? We will have a video how to replace those, how to test, how to clean them, because most of the times you don't even need to guys, okay, replace them, all you have to do is clean them in a specific way and they start working again. So open that fuse, you have one tap here, one there, squish, pull straight up. And now if you come right here, okay, what we have specifically, the fuse that we are looking at guys will be known as sensor 2, okay, that 15M fuse that we have right here. So if you come, okay, you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this 15M fuse, we have a fuse puller right here, grab it, go on top of the fuse, pull it out okay and put it here okay let me tell you something guys never assume it's a good or bad fuse i recommend if you have doubts always replace them and if you need replacement fuses for a good price check out the link will be in the description of the video below if you want to get some of your spare fuses get one and test it that way but Testing a fuse takes only a few seconds guys and we have a special video that explains how to test them in just a few seconds and I'll share the link in the description of the video below. Why it's important to do that? Because you look at it and you say okay that's a good fuse, you put it back in the fuse box, you still have problems with your car not running right, not starting or anything else guys. What will happen? You will spend money, time trying to diagnose and fix that problem when all you had to do actually test, okay, or replace that fuse. So that video, we'll share the link in the description of the video below. When you're ready, go ahead, okay, and install it, guys, okay, right there. So as you can see, just like that. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. 